We are almost in the middle of 2022, yet WhatsApp on PC still requires you to scan a code to link a device. And you cannot use the same WhatsApp account on a second phone. Unlike Telegram, where I have two different accounts on the same phone, and I have these two accounts on another phone and another PC working independently, I can use them wherever I am without depending on each other. If WhatsApp were this innovative, I wouldn't even be making this video. Let me show you how to move all your WhatsApp media and chat history from an old phone to a new phone instantly without a USB card, no internet, or copying anything on SD card. So if you're ready, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. I've made a few videos in the past about WhatsApp, but today I'm about to show you the easiest way to move everything in your WhatsApp chat history and media to a new phone wirelessly. It's so cool, it looks miraculous. You need to have a file sharing app that can transfer folders like Zender, Share It, Share Me, etc. Just install your preferred sharing app on both phone and that's it. We will use the sharing app to transfer the WhatsApp folder from the current phone to the new phone wirelessly. We just hit 9k subscribers. I am lost for words. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I am sad. In the last 28 days, only 1% of our viewers subscribe to the channel. So if you're still watching, please hit on that subscribe button. A new sub from our viewers will really, really make me feel better. Thank you. So let's get into action. Step number one, take a local backup in WhatsApp. No internet required for this. I will turn off the internet as I show you this. Tap on the three dot menu on the top right, then go to settings and click on chats, click on chat backups and click on backup. Since we have the internet turned off, we don't worry about it going online. Just ignore the connect to Wi-Fi to backup to Google Drive, we won't need it. Warning, make sure you do not turn on data or Wi-Fi after the local backup because any chat received after this backup won't appear in the chat history in the new phone. Step number two, transfer the WhatsApp folder with your preferred file sharing app. It could look different from mine, but the idea is to transfer the WhatsApp folder from the old phone to the new phone. The WhatsApp folder we are going to copy is located on the internal storage, Android folder, media folder, com.whatsapp and then select the WhatsApp folder for transferring it to the new phone. That's just step number two. Step number three, install WhatsApp on the new phone if you haven't done so already. So go back to the internal storage, media com.whatsapp and delete the whatsapp folder in the new phone now move the whatsapp folder you transferred from the old phone uh, to right inside the com.whatsapp folder that's just a step three Now, step number four, set up WhatsApp on the new phone with the phone number in the old phone. You know, just impute the proper phone number and give all the necessary permission. Looking for backup, we'll first look for backup inside the internal WhatsApp folder in your phone. And if it doesn't find it, it will go online. It says backup found 15 minutes ago, exactly the time we did the local backup. Don't let the Google account confuse you. The same email that was used in the old phone is already signed on in the new phone. It will still restore the local backup because we didn't do any online backup 15 minutes ago. So transferring the WhatsApp 
it's a big problem when moving from android to ios because of some of those differences i already have a solution <laughs> for that so make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn the notification icon to get that when i upload that video i'll keep both phones side by side let's see what happens to the other phone click on restore now your media is already been copied to the internal storage whatsapp will align them to the appropriate chat histories this is very important and yes it won't use your data or the internal or the internet the media is already there it's just going to align them to their chats history we are now good wow the same whatsapp account on two different phones <laughs> <laughs> how i wish data was turned off in the old phone so that's why i could still see the same whatsapp once we turn on data on the old phone that whatsapp course will strike your phone number is no longer registered with whatsapp on this phone <laughs> if you click ok everything is gone remember to like and share this video it might be beneficial to others I moved my WhatsApp to a new phone because I bought a new home laptop studio, which I will soon do a review on. Uh, and I want my WhatsApp to be there. It's so sad that WhatsApp app in Windows still require you to scan code, you know, to link a device. So that's that. Until WhatsApp innovates um, to become something similar to Telegram, Signal, and some other ones, well, we'll still have to see. So let me hear from you in the comment section. And until I see you in the next video, peace. Bye. Bye.